Hello there. This is a recording on how to do multicam on your ScreenFlow. So ScreenFlow is a wonderful program for doing screen capture. That's what it's originally made for, but I use it for simple editing because it uses less memory than um, Adobe Photoshop. And I can do a lot of the same things just so I can do some uploading. So let's just get started. Um, first of all, I have a video here that I took of a student. I have one shot this way, and then I have another shot that's, um, I'm going to go ahead and switch this so you can see. I have another shot that's on his hands, and then I have the, the shot that I have on the side, and they're taken at the same time. Now, basically the way this works is um, when you're recording, of course, it just it depends on how much you're doing the quality going in as much as the quality as it comes out. So when you're doing your um, recording, make sure you don't turn off your one of your recorders. If you're doing, you know, three cams or four cams, make sure you don't turn off your recorders. Um, because, of course, if you do that, then you'll have to resync everything every time you've uh, punched in. So the better way to do it is if you have to move your camera around, just keep it rolling as you move your camera around and then sync it and then you could edit out once it's already synced. So what I did to sync, all I did was uh, clap. So all I have to do here is zoom in to the part where I clapped and uh, you can see basically all I have to do is sync up right here. So what I'm going to do here is use my little scrub tool to line up pretty good here and zoom as far as I can and then line up here move this over until it's pretty lined up okay very good so um, we're gonna zoom back out Oop, not that much and you're gonna hear where he comes in very good now to sync it up pretty good here as a matter of fact here's my clap right here um, I could even zoom in closer to where exactly the clap was and make sure that it's uh, that it's working pretty well here okay so now that we have everything lined up um, we're going to cut this area so we're going to cut it on both so that we can have it kind of line up equally and then we're going to delete those two and we're going to bring this over now of course you can, as you can see whatever is at the forefront is what you're going to see on um, screen flow so the, how do you figure out where you want to cut now adobe pre adobe premiere has this wonderful um multicam view where you can see both um, takes at the same time and as you're playing you can click on whichever you want well you can kind of cheat a little bit here what I'm going to do is I'm just really just going to split the screen by pressing shift and bringing it to this area here and then pressing shift again and bring this to this area here so as you can see I can basically do the same thing by just playing both at the same time and as you can see as I play Now, it's going a little slow because I'm recording at the same time, but trust me, the music is synced up. Everything is, is working pretty well. And then all I have to do now is decide which one of these I want to take the, the sound of. So let's say, for example, this is the one I want to mute. So I take it to the audio area here. I mute the audio. And now I'm only going to be hearing it from one camera. And basically, I could do the same thing. All I want, for example, when he starts, I want this full area here. And then I'm going to play through. And as I play, I can say that I, I want all of this to be just him. And now when he hits the, that G sharp here, that's when I want that other part to play. So what I've been doing is, in order to you know make this a lot easier right where I want it to be the first area and the second area I just use markers 
So right here, this is going to be take one. So I'm going to do add marker. I'm going to put here take one, enter. And then here is where take two is going to happen. We're going to add a marker. We're going to say take two. And we'll just do take one and take two back and front. And so when I'm finally ready to erase what I need, I can select the area. For example, I'll select this area right here split it and then take out just what I need. So now, for example, I want this to be take two. Now when he gets to this area here, I want it to go back to take one. So I'm going to say here, add marker, take one. And now I can do this to the entire area. Oh, one thing I forgot to show you. Let's do this here, bring this out so that we'll have all this together. One thing you have to do before you do everything is separate the audio. Because as you work with everything, you don't want your audio to be deleted as you delete the, the part. So what you want to do is you want to keep this all together. Okay. So now when I split this area here, I want take two. So between here and here is going to be all just take two. And then it's going to go back to take one. So as we had before, let's go to take two. We're going to split this area right here. And then we're going to bring this over all the way to, to take one. So basically, as we play, it's going to switch for me. And then all I have to do is fine tune. Very simple. Now, of course, I'll go through the entire area and then you'll start seeing clip up here, clip up there, clip up here. And I find this a little bit more manageable than Adobe Premiere because with Adobe Premiere, you have a limited amount of, of cameras that you can do that with. Um, of course, you can do it this way with Adobe also. Of course, you could do the same thing with Adobe also. But um, I find that the flow, the workflow works better. Of course, the the memory hog is not as much either. So thank you very much and uh, happy editing.